Grade here with more Crusader Kings 2. So, when last we left off, one of my courtiers decided to go after my... What was it? Uh, yeah, one of my council. And I sacrificed him to the gods. <laughs> Tribal's so much fun. In fact, uh, my shaman likes me now. And... It's not giving any piety. Some buildings give piety to the holders. Uh, uh, well, we'll figure that out. Still no other societies. Technology. I'm almost to the point where I can bump up one of my military, which is good because that means I will have a tech advantage over my neighbors. Oh, well, let's unpause and continue on. What's this? Oh. Marshal, your steward, Perush. That's the the counselor that uh, that uh, had a plot against him. Has suggested that you build a great monument as a display of uh, Ensure's might. While such a project would surely have its benefits, it would be costly. You would be need a great number of men to construct the monument. Monthly piety gain, levy size minus fifty percent. Ooh ooh ooh. Um. Yeah. No. 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 I cannot lose my levy right now. I cannot go down to 700 men with uh, these neighbors. Ah, my earthen hill fort has completed, so there's another 100 men. Right, I had a plan. Here's my plan. Let's go to important decisions. Intrigue. And I'm going to present a young noblewoman whose cut your eye has make her debut at a formal ball. Because it's tribal. So that cost me 2.2 gold. Uh, let's see. She's weak, wroth, trusting, ambitious, cruel. Yeah, nope. Not what I asked for. Let's try that again. Intrigue. Can I do it again? Yes. Intricate web weaver. Okay. I like. Shy, honest, and ambitious. Well, excellent. Take as a concubine. Recently, this gorgeous black and white cat has been following me around everywhere. It seems it is as if it is dedicated, or has decided, whoops, that I am his master. I did ask the ancestors for help with my relationships. Although this is not quite what I had in mind. <laughs> Definitely not. But it's a kitty. So I now have a pet cat. <laughs> do I have anything? Uh, nope, I don't have any artifacts. But I do have a pet cat. Gives me health and additional intrigue, which is good. Has improved relations with the shaman again. So my shaman really, really likes me. Basically, he's improving relations with himself. Talk talk to this guy down here. Talk to the steward. Come on, dude. <laughs> so the reason that I, I decided to pick a concubine is because uh, more chances at actually having an heir, which I need. Look at all, all of these... All of these right here go away when I actually have an heir. <laughs> Speaking of, my concubine, uh, Inyava, is pregnant. I forgot to check. She's a different uh, culture, which is fine. Stop improving relations with yourself, dude. Come on relations with someone else. I've almost worked off this uh, prestige hit. Ah, and my wife Saga is pregnant. Excellent. I guess I just had to wait a little bit.
then again, there's no guarantee that either is a son. There we go. A daughter was born to High Chief Gray and Inyava, named Megurka. Eh, I'm just going to call her Meg. There we go. So let's pause for a moment. I need to go into Laws, Inheritance, Nominate. I cannot nominate anyone. I need to also go to... Uh, yeah, I can only go Gavel Kind. Agnet Cogn uh, Cognatic would be good. Speaking of which, let's go back to our minor titles. Regent. Oh. I, I can set my concubine to be my regent. She doesn't like me. Why? Oh. But I can't set my wife to my regent. As my regent. What the heck? Well, in that case, since this guy doesn't like me, um, let's grant him the regent, the regency. There we go. Now my entire council likes me. I'm not sure why I couldn't appoint my wife. Is it because she's not here? Yeah, she's she's all the way over there. <laughs> okay, now I understand. Got it. That's fine. Twins. Nice. And I have my technology events. Okay, so you have a new heir. If your character dies, you will now play as Aruza Demi. Well, the name's going to change. A daughter was born to another Meg. Uh, Saga. So, yeah, the two daughters. We'll name her Tris. And yes, I'm changing the name so I can actually pronounce them. And my son. Yes, Caldrus, you get to be my son again. There we go. So before we go any, any further, I need to set, uh, set these. Etiquette. For Meg. Etiquette for Triss. Who's ugly? Meg avoided that. And Caldrus avoided that. And Caldrus, you get to go for Strugna Pride. Pride. There we go. Uh, let's see. Succession, successor, nominate. Would you nominate my son? Obviously. Who's got two supporters? So he will be my heir. Good. I still do not have a court physician. Who can I appoint as my cupbearer? I'm not going to worry about that. Commander. Oh, I got another commander I can I can appoint. Oh, the guy I sacrificed was one of my commanders. Got it. Well, I can't uh, I can't raise up another commander, so there we go. No court tutor. Let's see. She's a genius.
There we go. Oh, technology. Right. Let's go back to my military. My highest is light infantry. And because of that, I'm going to raise up uh, light infantry first. What this will do is attack defense for light infantry and archers gets 5.3% bonus. So now my light infantry is more effective. Very nice. That means after my five years of peace, I will be in a better position. He's up to 2.7k. Definitely not going to take him on. 1.3. So I can actually go after this, uh, this county now. Yeah, because I've got 1.6, and he has 1.3. How good of a county is this anyway? He doesn't have a lot in there. Speaking of, I need 76 gold for my next uh, earthen fort. Or not earthen fort, but market. Your incompetent steward has led a group of smugglers into the county of Moz. Moz. <laughs> Apparently he thought they were merchants. What a fool! Curses! Uh, disease resistance. Build time, build modifier. Yeah. That's this, this county here, so I'm not worried about it too much. So, there's my pro uh, my ambition fulfilled. Realm prosper. What's my next ambition? Uh, pause, pause, please. Build a war chest, become king. No. Groom and air. Yep, let's groom and air. He's at war. Well, now that I don't have to worry about uh, being at peace anymore, let's raise my personal army. Now, the rally point means that they all move down to the county seat automatically. Let's set them to raiders. Um, I will lead from the center. Why? Don't I have commanders? Interesting. Let's see. He's got 2.8 gold. He has 1.9. Attack with it. I... Let's do this for experience. Two gold. 1.4, 1.3. Wow. I'm the richest? Really? Hey, he's pissed off. Not much you can do about it. Bandits have raided the siege camps outside uh, Makava tribe, killing many of the sieging soldiers. Eh. Not a problem. Yep, I have all the gold. Oh, you know what? I'm going to siege you down completely. There it is. 3.15 gold for that. And Yava is pregnant again. Nice. Actually, let's drop down to speed 3 while I'm raiding. Let's go raid here. And he's annoyed. Oh well. I don't care. Oh, no, no, no. That's just tax. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting a decent amount of loot out of this. I'm going to siege him completely down again. What's, what does he look like? 
Yeah, it's about 12 gold there. I'll take it. Looks like there's a fun war going on down here. My son Caldras has not been himself lately. I have noted how he has lost weight and been overcome by episodes of intense fatigue. Apparently the underlying cause is a cancerous growth, which is sucking the life out of him. <laughs> That's not good. The defenders of Tavir tribe successfully raided the camps of the besiegers, infecting heavy casualties. Yeah, not really. Has been looted. Yeah, I lost a hundred men there. Come on, finish, finish raiding. There we go. So that's another 2.25 gold. Good, good, good. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to take you on. Where did you come from? Oh, this is not... Oh, not good. That wasn't good. Let us disband. At least I wasn't captured or killed. That would have been very unpleasant. Seriously, where did he get those men? Maybe he, uh... No, those weren't mercenaries. Oh well. It was a successful raid. So now I have the... Almost have the 74 gold I need to get another Earthen Hill Fort or Market. Ah, another daughter. Yalgava. I can pronounce that. Let's take a look at Caldras. Yep, yeah, Cancer. I can't help but laugh. I really can't. Uh, let's see. Let's look at my court. Is there anyone that still hates me a lot? My concubine still hates me. And she has a high intrigue. Well. And she has dysentery, which means she might die. I really need a court physician. But I don't think I have the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Honest, temperate, kind. He wants to get married. There we go. Court physician. Um, is there anything I can do for Caldras? Sign guardian? Nope. I will be his guardian. Such as it is. However, presuming that she doesn't die anytime soon. Some guardian. And let's go back to. Oh, she can only have two, I guess. There we go. Two wards. So, let's go back to the court. Everyone likes me now. Good, good, good. I need to assign a focus for the Algaba. Etiquette. Child of a concubine. Diplomacy minus one. Yeah. Let's go back up to speed four. 
Well, we got a little bit of raiding done. We can now get the second of the market forts, or market village. I think beyond that we're going to need more technology. Speaking of... Yeah. Yeah, this shows that I've got a higher amount here. That was just not good. And there's war all around me. Oh, he went to war with uh, this nation up here. The defensive pack opposing Krivish has been disbanded. Okay, not sure who that was, but whatever. Wasn't against me, was it? No. Yeah, it was a defensive pact against this nation here. He's just getting raked over here. And more... Yeesh. My concubine Inyava does not love me. While love is not exactly necessary, I'd still like to see her beautiful face light up with smiles and laughter. So I've decided to romance her. Turn on the charm. I can tell my concubine Inyava has is finally falling in love with me. She snuggled up to me as we watched the sunset together from the roof of the Great Tower. I don't think a tribal land has a Great Tower, but we'll go with it. So, plus 25 opinion for 16 months. For 5 years, basically. And more love. She is now in love with me. Yay! Is she, the question is, is she going to survive? Yeah, she no longer has dysentery. Good deal. Proper alliance. No. What I need is another son. go. What I should do, let's do another pass through my... Uh, he wants to become a paragon. He wants to get married. How old is he? 39. Well, yeah, don't care. Stewart wants to get married. He's 43. Spymaster wants to get married. 37. But he's chased. Yeah, right. And the Diviner wants to get married. However, since he has got a 17... time being. Ooh, actually, let's, on the market town, let's put a cut in here and we will pick this up in a little bit. Hope you enjoyed today's video and have fun.